So who tolerates pain better, men or women? So the first thing to understand here is the word toleration as opposed to a threshold. Every day patients tell me, oh, I've got a good pain threshold or I've got a bad pain threshold and so on. But what they actually mean is tolerance because threshold is an actual medical term. Threshold is actually when pain first fires, not the amount that you can withstand as a total maximum, but when it first fires. So the amount of painful stimulus or stimulus required to actually get the pain nerve to first fire. So your first brain receives a pain signal. So if you think of threshold, you can measure that because we know the C fiber pain nerve, we know it's firing frequency, we can detect it, we can measure it. Obviously you've got to do particular things to measure it, you can't just do it as I would in a clinic. Uh, it's not going to be possible, but that's threshold. Tolerance is therefore the amount you take before you either pass out or say no. Um, the interesting thing is people will look at someone who's crying and screaming and bawling and say, oh, they don't tolerate pain very well. But that's also different as well. That's pain expression and that's kind of cultural. So if someone's been brought up in a society where there's a lot of like, you know, you hurt yourself and your mum runs over, oh my God, you know what's going on? Like, and like really giving you a lot of, uh, a lot of kind of care and attention, it reinforces that behavior. And therefore you're more likely to react in a bigger and more visual uh, way. And you can see this again in different countries. So I've treated people from you know, Greece and Italy and places, and you do see this more expressive nature where they are you know, more vocal and explanatory about how they are feeling. And therefore you can look at them and think they don't tolerate pain well. Well, interestingly, they could scream and bawl uh, from two out of 10 pain up until 10 out of 10 pain. Whereas you could get somebody else who literally stoic, not saying a word, and they pass out before the screaming, shouting one. So actually out of the two, the screaming and shouting one actually had a better pain tolerance, um, not, but it was more of an expression difference. So yeah, so there's firstly, you've got to work out, you know, like you've got to look at what these differences are. When it comes to threshold, like I said before, you can measure it and there have been studies on this. And what's very interesting is they have uh, measured on different types of pain, ischemic pain, which is lack of oxygen, like a heart attack type pain, or you know, cutting off circulation somewhere. You've got temperature pain, so cold when it's really cold and hot when it's really hot. Uh, you've also got pressure pain and so on and so forth. So what's interesting is the research is, is very clear on this and they found that men have a higher threshold of pain than women do. So this is the amount of uh, stimulus required to actually get pain to fire in the first place. Uh, they, the only type of pain they found was the same, was uh, temperature pain and pressure pain. Other than them two types, every other type of pain, men's thresholds were higher. Um, what's interesting though is when they looked at tolerance, they found really not a lot of difference in, in a lot of papers, although some did report some differences towards the men having a higher tolerance. Uh, basically, in practice, I would say, I haven't seen too much difference in what I would perceive as being tolerance. Uh, threshold is impossible to, to, to determine. I think that depends on the nature of the condition as well, especially in my setting. Um, and then also uh, the um, expression is the biggest thing you'll notice. And therefore that doesn't really tell me an awful lot. Uh, I mean, obviously it tells me a lot because the person's telling me, but other than that, it's not, it's not telling me how good their tolerance levels are. So yeah, so people think threshold is tolerance and tolerance is something else and so on. But in reality, uh, threshold is higher in men in the most part. Tolerance is variable, but probably about the same, possibly a bit more in men, but that's probably because the threshold differences. I would say I haven't seen too much difference between men and women's tolerance. Uh, so yeah, so the debate is still raging, you know, and, and someone might do further research and find that, you know, there is a difference with, with certain styles or certain entities. But yeah, so that kind of concludes that one and I'll see you next time.